Hello my darlings and welcome. In this video, I'll show you how to make a candle holder for Lamas or Lunasa. Let's do some magical crafting. I was inspired to make this magical craft by a Facebook post from the White Witch Parlor. It said, gather some wheat stems and bundle them around a glass votive candle holder. This is a special way to adorn your home or altar. I have some wheat stems left over from my wheat broom project. I'm planning on doing several other magical crafting projects with the wheat, as well as decorating my altar seasonally with it. And while I did not have any glass votive candle holders, I decided to make a large candle holder with the recycled sauce jar instead. If you're recycling a jar, the first step is to wash it and remove the label. And if you have a furry helper, make sure they have a chance to inspect the jar and approve it for you. That second part is completely optional, of course. Now that I have an approved jar, let's get started. Along with the wheat stems, another option for covering the jar is corn husks. I got some corn husks for crafting a corn dolly or harvest goddess to decorate my altar. To me, corn evokes the harvest, and so I decided to use it in my harvest decoration as well. The corn husks will diffuse the candlelight a bit more and create a soft, warm glow. I measured and cut and glued five pieces of corn husk onto the jar with hot glue, overlapping the edges to get complete coverage. Once the jar is covered in corn husks, it's time to prepare the wheat stems. I measured one stem against the jar for length. And after that, it was easy to cut more stems to the same length using the first one as a guide. I cut about 20 wheat stems for my candle holder, but you may need fewer if your glass jar is smaller. Using a glue gun, I glued the wheat stems down. You may notice that one side of the wheat stem is flatter, and that's the side I glued to the jar. I glued them side by side with a space in between to fit one more stem. Lamas, also known as Lunasa, is a late summer harvest festival, celebrated in early August. The days are getting shorter and it's the time of the early or first harvest. The focus is on the grains, or corn and bread, but also the harvest of apples, pears, berries. Lamas is a fire festival and a cross-quarter day. I typically celebrate the season for two weeks rather than focusing on the single day. Decorating my altar and focusing on the themes and energies of the season a harvest-themed craft seemed perfect for this time of year. Once you've glued down all the stems, trim them flush to the bottom of the jar, and then it's time to add twine. I glued the edge down and began wrapping and gluing twine around the bottom of the stems starting at the point where they became bare. The gluing and wrapping process took quite a bit of time. I found the process meditative and calming, but you can go more quickly if you'd like to, if you have a smaller jar or thicker twine. You may wish to use a strip of burlap or ribbon to wrap the bottom of the jar. Use your imagination and customize this project to your personal style and taste. Once the twine wrapping was complete, I decided to add an extra bit of golden ribbon around the candle holder. And then to finish it, I tied and glued a small twine bow on top.
Please be very mindful of fire safety when you choose a candle for the holder and ensure the candle is short enough not to catch any of the wheat or corn husks on fire and never leave a candle unattended. Or you can do what I did and put an LED candle in the jar. This is a good idea if you're using the jar for home decoration rather than on your altar or if you're concerned that you might not be able to watch the candle at all times. However and wherever you use your candle holder, I hope this video has given you some ideas and inspiration for creating your own magical craft to celebrate the harvest season.